Is ChatGPT really the best AI writing tool? If there's one platform that people prefer over ChatGPT, it's Jasper AI, which launched almost two years before ChatGPT and already has millions of professionals paying to use the platform, from marketers to salespeople to freelancers. But first doesn't always mean best, so we wanted to see if it was actually better than ChatGPT by comparing their features and pricing. Hey everyone, welcome back to AI Marketing and Creator Tools. Studies show that 35% of marketers and 54% of bloggers are already using AI tools at work. And you want to know what the number one category was? Chatbots. Chances are if you've used AI before, you've used a chatbot. That's because big platforms like ChatGPT and Google Bard are classified as chatbots. And for all my millennials and zillennials out there, you probably got your first experience with them on AOL Instant Messenger. Remember asking Smarter Child or AOL Austin Powers the weirdest thing you could think of? No? Just me? Okay, moving on. On. Chatbots are the starting point of all AI writers because they're the most basic feature. So how does ChatGPT compare to Jasper's chatbot, Jasper Chat? Well, the first thing you'll notice is the layout. ChatGPT is as basic as it gets. You have your prompt bar where you'll tell it what to do and that's it. But Jasper gives you a few more options. First, you can choose between speed and quality, but if we're being honest, just go with quality. Its responses aren't that slow anyway, and a good response will require less editing, aka less time. Once you've typed out your prompt, you'll notice that this three star button lights up. This is the enhance prompt button, which makes it way easier for the AI to get high quality instructions. For example, let's try the prompt, develop a marketing strategy for a new product launch. With ChatGPT, this generic prompt gave me a really good marketing strategy template. After all, chatbots are mostly used for brainstorming, so they're best for getting you started. I gave Jasper the same prompt, and after enhancing it, it made my prompt way more detailed. But was the response actually better? Well, no. I'd say Jasper gave an equally broad response and rather than answers, it gave me questions. This didn't turn out to be a bad thing though because it did get me to think about the questions I needed to answer about my marketing strategy. So for chatbots, I'd say ChatGPT and Jasper are tied. By the way, we do tons of platform comparisons on this channel, so make sure to check out this playlist to see more. But let's move on to the more advanced features. First of all, it's important to note that Jasper was created with business professionals in mind. We love making templates that can be reused over and over again, so it shouldn't come as a surprise that templates are one of Jasper's main features. Jasper has a wide variety of tools like blogging, emails, SEO, and social media, basically everything you need for business. Let's look at their one-shot blog post template. For this example, all I had to do was type in the title of my blog and who my intended audience was, and in seconds I had a 500-word blog. I wanted ChatGPT to write the same blog, but I had to come up with a more detailed prompt to get an output that was on par with Jasper's. So it is capable of doing the same work, but Jasper is just way more convenient. We have an upcoming video highlighting how to use Jasper templates in more detail, and we'll showcase some of our favorite ones. So make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you won't miss it. Something Jasper offers that ChatGPT can't do is efficient workflows, and Jasper's SEO blog workflow honestly blew my mind. I wanted to write an article about 10 ways AI is changing marketing. First, it had me input the basic information like title and keywords, and it turned that into a content brief and blog outline. But this is what I couldn't believe. It took each of the 10 bullet points and made a section in the workflow for each one. So now I could go one section at a time and generate text for each bullet point with just a couple of clicks. If I wanted to edit anything, like changing the wording or content in a bullet point, it was super simple. I went section by section and within minutes had a super high quality full length blog that was packed with keywords. So for any writing jobs that require attention to detail, Jasper is top dog. On the flip side, ChatGPT also has capabilities that Jasper doesn't have. ChatGPT's biggest feature is without a doubt its plugins. Think of them kind of like Chrome extensions, except plugins are third-party applications that connect the AI power of ChatGPT directly into their own platforms. There are thousands of plugins out there, and popular companies like Notion, HubSpot, Zapier, Canva, and Expedia all have their own. You can see us try out our favorite ones in each of these videos on the screen. They're linked below. To access ChatGPT plugins, you can also check out our quick tutorial to get started. But just know that they're only available for paying ChatGPT Plus subscribers. And honestly, a bunch of them aren't very useful. One of our favorite plugins is Canva. I mean, who doesn't love Canva? I can go into ChatGPT and ask for a presentation about SEO strategies for 2024. And the plugin will make a presentation that'll open up 
in Canva with one click. It is pretty cool, but we do already pay for the Canva app and have access to all the same features. We actually did a full review of the plugin in a recent video, so go check it out if you want to see what else it can do. On the other hand, Jasper doesn't directly integrate with platforms like ChatGPT, but it does have a Google Chrome extension that lets you use Jasper to write in Slack, Gmail, and Google Docs. Just don't ask it to do something like summarize a PDF document or create a Canva template from scratch. We should also touch on how easy it is to make these platforms sound like you. Jasper is one of the few AI platforms that has a built-in brand voice tool. Earlier when we were using Jasper Chat, you may have noticed this little megaphone button. When you click it, it tells Jasper to respond in your voice. No, not your literal voice, but your written voice. Making brand voices that sound like you is super easy. Start by giving Jasper some info for its knowledge base. This can be fun facts about your company or even just your website URL. Perfect time to plug our website, AIMarketingAndCreatorTools.com. Go check it out. After giving it the URL, it analyzes how you write to make your brand voice. And now you can use it in all your future chats and templates. With ChatGPT, you don't get the same level of customer customization, but you can use what are called custom instructions. These let you tell ChatGPT things about yourself and how you want it to respond, and it can use this information for all future responses. For example, tell ChatGPT you make creative content and that your goal is to grow a YouTube channel in a specific niche. I chose technology and AI, and for all future responses, I want them to be given in a data table format. One column should be an answer, the other should explain why it works. Now we go into ChatGPT and ask it for a list of 15 video ideas. As you can see, my response was in a data table format and it had the video titles and explanations I asked for, all from a super simple prompt. Okay, give this video a thumbs up if you're excited for our last two categories. One of our favorite use cases for artificial intelligence is AI art. With platforms like Midjourney and Dolly leading the way, making art has never been easier. For a long time, Midjourney was the clear leader in the space, but OpenAI just released their latest version of Dolly called Dolly 3. Because Dolly and ChatGPT are owned by OpenAI, they decided to integrate Dolly directly into the ChatGPT platform. Dolly's art is incredible, and in my spare time, I've been messing around with it trying to come up with some cool creations. As you can see here, I'm a fan of the 8-bit style art and asked it to come up with popular landmarks. I also asked for movie posters. In platforms like Midjourney, you'd need to produce extremely creative prompts to get the same results. Let us know which one's your favorite in the comments. But in Dolly, your prompts can be so super simple. Jasper's art is a different story though. We covered it in depth in our recent Jasper video, but long story short, their art capabilities are very limited and I wouldn't expect much more than wallpaper art if I were you. Remember how I mentioned Canva earlier? Their AI art generator is actually pretty good and we demoed it in our magic edit video. So how much do ChatGPT and Jasper cost? ChatGPT offers free and paid plans. The free version lets you ask as many questions as you want using the older version of ChatGPT called GPT-3. 3.5. To be honest, the difference between the older and newer version isn't that significant for written responses. But the advantage with the ChatGPT Plus paid plan is that you can access the newer version of ChatGPT called GPT-4, which you need to use things like plugins and Dolly 3. So for the Plus plan, you'll need to fork up 20 bucks a month. Jasper does not have a free plan, but you can sign up for a seven day free trial with our affiliate link in the description. Why not get some free ideas or a blog or two written? Plans start at $39 a month for individuals, or you can get a team plan for $99 a month, which includes up to three seats. So with Jasper being nearly double the price of ChatGPT, is it really worth it? Well, our team prefers Jasper because it's specifically designed for marketers and content creators like us. We love how easy it is to use and how it feels really organized, whereas ChatGPT makes it hard to find old conversations or create a streamlined workflow. Also, the Jasper Chrome extension is great for emails, Google Docs, and inside of Canva. And if you're paying for ChatGPT Plus, you're mainly just paying for plugins. So it's gonna come down to whether or not you'll actually use them. At the time of this video, Dolly 3 is only available for ChatGPT Plus users. So if you think you can put the art to use, it might be worth trying for a month. As far as the writing quality goes, we don't think paying for ChatGPT will give you better outputs with version four compared to 3.5. So as for Jasper versus ChatGPT, both platforms are impressive in their own way. They're just different. And so that's for you to decide. If you made it to the end, we're sure you'll love our other content, so don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.